guess now we're going to move on to uh, toast, cu toast custard with chocolate parfait, uh, li li lychee puree, and, um, and chocolate crumbs. So infusion into the Thermomix. And uh, this is where the Thermomix comes in extremely handy. So the infusion you've put in is just milk and toast so far? Yep, just milk and toast. So sugar in. I've, I've set the Thermomix to 90 to bring it up a, a little bit quicker. Eggs go in. And what we're going to do is just let, let that run. The second, the second part of the dish is uh, chocolate parfait. I've whipped the eggs, eggs and sugar and glucose to a nice, nice uh, light, light white result. Uh, we're just going to add the cocoa in. Straightforward process, which makes a base for the parfait. With the whipped cream, you just that you, we don't want to fold all of the cream through in, in one go, as we, you end up with a little white. Um, it's really hard to get it quite even, so you want to fold it into to your base slowly, and then your final amount of cream. I, I, I like to use um, <coughs> Calibo Calibo chocolate actually for me. Um, I, I use and I use a 50 per 53 percent dark chocolate. So what we do, we just kind of pour that into a container and, and put it into the freezer. Um, Ryan's just adding the gelatin, which has been bloomed in cold, in really, really cold water, into the <coughs> into the toast custard mix. Once your once your custard has hit uh, 80 degrees, it's just basically poured out into the container the same way that the chocolate parfait is 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 something that it makes pastry quite easy or custards quite easy in particular. Okay, so that one goes, that, that one, drop that one into the freezer. And to create, to create the texture um, ultimately for the, for the custard, we, we put it in liquid nitrogen. Okay, and what we're going to do is just break it up into small pieces for the for the serving. Uh, so, what I've done is just a little bit of a little bit of crumb on the bottom, and this just adds texture and uh, also gives it. It really helps the flavor of the toast custard come out. Really, is just um, using the liquid nitrogen really gives a um, really unusual texture and makes it. I think makes for a really interesting presentation. So in, in between the chocolate, we just put a little bit of the, the custard. So the broken textures are, are obviously delivered, deliberate. So if it, if it falls and breaks a little more, it doesn't really matter. What I've also done is I've used some of the puree, which I made from the agar, and I've dehydrated it in a in a dehydrator, I've spread it really thinly, and what it does is just basically forms forms a glass texture, and that makes a really nice um, crispy texture on the on the chocolate parfait. So that's a that's a chocolate lychee toast custard. Thank sure. you very much.